my Daddy Jacks go with the blues. Axel always got to come in here, right, Lakeisha, when we're starting to shoot? Mm -hmm. But uh, my son-in-law, Wes, brought, he just caught, uh, snagged a beautiful swordfish. So he brought me a couple nice chunks. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut the uh, bloodline out of it right here. And uh, so today I'm going to make a couple different recipes with it. But I'm going to do, the first one I'm going to do is a, uh, Swordfish cordon blue. So this is what we're gonna do here. So um, put this over here for now. We're just gonna pound them out a little bit. One day out of water, can't get much better. So, uh, get a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of Himalayan. Just for a little, uh, I'm going to put some Dijon. some uh, some Swiss cheese from Tommy Boulay my friend that sent this to us beautiful Swiss he makes himself uh, home at home become quite a home chef himself now this is my Virico ham that I bought and uh, I got it online it's something else you want to try to order it up uh, it's pretty expensive but it's worth it just for a treat got some breadcrumbs so just to get the crumbs adhered to the uh, I'm not going to dip, dip it in uh, flour, egg, and breadcrumb. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Skype. Skype. <laughs> eh? It's got such a great uh, garlic scapes, you know, right off the top. Okay. We'll get just a little bit more. See, I'll use the back of the spoon so I won't uh, contaminate the other part that I've already used. Oh, that smells unbelievable. These scapes are so much, uh, so strong with the garlic flavor. So I have my skillet. Olive oil and butter, that's how I roll. So we'll uh, press the crumbs down nice. So we're gonna slow brown it. We don't want we don't want too much heat because we wanna Get a good amount going. Just medium heat. 
Just let it, leave it alone, let it brown up a little bit. We're gonna flip it and finish it in the oven. We'll be right back. Hey, Jack Scott with the blues. Axel, come up here. You say hello? Sit. Good boy today, huh? that brown up just a little bit more and then we're gonna pop it in the oven Woo, the crumbs and the uh, the scapes the garlic scapes on top they're beautiful so I'm gonna pop it I'm gonna pop it in a 350 degree oven be right back let's finish off that cordon bleu Cordon bleu. So the cordon bleu. So hey, we got this Dow Strong knife here. We're gonna we're putting it to use. The rocker knife. Look. Okay. And uh, so we're just gonna make a, you know, it's a little color. You know, the doesn't need a whole lot, but we're gonna do a. Just a little uh, for, for Garni, you know, for a sauce, make a quick sauce. And uh, for the Cordon Bleu, for the Cordon Bleu. Rolls off the tongue nicely. Okay, nice color. Nice color contrast. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in the oven, and uh, you know what? I'm not gonna waste any of that flavor. It's in the skillet. We're gonna make our sauce out of it. It's kind of nice. Just be careful. And uh, use a little bit of this garlic scape. stove and uh, got a little bit of diced tomato left. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. Just a quick little pan sauce. They always say you should cook with what you're going to drink. A little Ferrari Carano. Fumé blanc, fumé blanc. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when in France, do as the French. I'm saying. So we're gonna reduce that down. Turn the gas up, me, electric, whatever you got. And uh, a little bit of a little bit of butter. Warm, warm, steamy day, the end of July. Can't believe it, August is coming. So we want to reduce it down, get all the essence.
We want that nice, uh, you know, it goes pretty bland as it is sitting on the plate. You know, just use a little, that was some scrap tomato. You know. What they say, I, I appeal is half the meal. What do you think, Lakeisha? That looks beautiful. All right. If I had some green onion, it would even more, look more beautiful. Hold on just one second. That's something close to it. Always got a little granary on top. Okay. Don't forget the plate's hot too. It just came out of the oven. Hey guys, go with a blue swordfish cordon bleu, cordon bleu. All right, I, you know what? I'm, I, I dug in too quick. I already took a bite, but I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get a good bite right off the center of it. It's delicious. Try it. A nice piece of Iberico ham. Mmm. Really nice, you have the flavor of the mustard coming through. The, the scapes, you know, when it cooks, it's got a subtle garlic. Mm. Really nice. Be careful with the, because uh, the ham, you know, when you, when you, like prosciutto or any kind of ham, when you cook it, it gets saltier, it seems. You know, so you eat it at room temperature or cold, it's, you know, the salt doesn't come out as much. That's a beautiful, beautiful recipe. Swordfish, cordon bleu. <laughs> Dad Jack's go with the blues. Stay well. We wish you all well. Uh, we're going to open the restaurant back up. Uh, Beginning of next week, in the middle of the week, just uh, for takeout for a couple weeks. So we got we're going to change the concept to a farm to table, uh, wood grill, wood oven, uh, farm to table, using Hunts, local Huntsbrook Farms, Four Mile River Farms, and some of the other farms across the river, Old Mystic and uh, Ledyard area, and uh, uh, we're putting up a lot of music uh, sample, uh, you know, some samples of the music we've been producing. During this downtime, you know, we've been doing a lot. Uh, Jason Banta, um, been working. He's a, a fantastic uh, recording engineer. Uh, but uh, we've been doing some great recordings. Uh, Lonnie Gasparino Trio, Paul Gabriel, uh, Dave Fields. Um, we got another great guitarist coming in from New York this week. We're doing the uh, live at Daddy Jack's. All the great local bands we've been having in the areas. So, if you want to listen to some of the music before we actually finish, you know, putting it into a CD and available online and things, uh, you can become a member of Patreon, Cooking with the Blues. As little as a dollar, as much as you want to pledge a month, uh, we'll be doing some live uh, Q&A sessions, uh, live streaming some videos and, you know, um, some nice advantages, you know, to become a member of Cooking with the Blues. Just, uh, it's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, forward slash, uh, no, Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, dot com, forward slash, Cooking with the Blues. It'll take you right to it, and you'll see some of the things we've already put up. Uh, pledge as little as a dollar a month. Uh, people, wh whatever they feel like they want to uh, pledge, you know, to become a member, we appreciate everything, and uh, it helps us out during these times. Uh, hey, Jack's Cooking with the Blues. Lakeisha Lee on camera. Uh, not knocking it out and and all the editing and things that go with it you know really it's a it's a we're tag teaming it peace love y'all hey buddy you didn't you didn't get enough camera time say you say you want to taste what do you say what do you say Please, sit, sit, sit now. <laughs>
I'm not supposed to feed you off the table, but we'll give you a little taste. What's this one? Hey, he's part of our posse. Got to take care of Axel. I'll get you some of this, Lakeisha. Mm -hmm.